If you are here, you wish to know. So we have a few things to talk about and the first one would be Tunic. This little Zelda-like game where you play as a little cute fox and you explore unknown land with unknown language and you have to look around and solve puzzles and defeat monsters. It's a full-on Zelda-like experience. And also, it really is a different language, so you won't understand what anything means until you try it out and find out the right way to decipher this new language that you you acquire. So, so it's interesting exploring game in Zelda-like manner. I'm really, really looking forward to play Tunic. Okay, the next one. The next one called Ano Mutachishonem. And it's a, a pixel art a cyberpunk game. Then when you play as a young girl, and this adventure with RPG elements. So, so if I remember correctly, you will walk around in this 2D, 3D environment made with pixel art mostly and we'll have to do some detective story story I don't remember correctly okay. but this I'm looking forward to play this game in the future so you should know that it came out okay so next one the next one called Royal Frontier and Royal Frontier reminds me of um, Knights of Pen and Papers. But, but here you don't play DD. You uh, follow a caravan when, and cho choose your destinations and explore. Or opening up new characters and finding new items to. and uh, going on an adventure. And that's all they can tell Tell about Royal Frontier And it's out <laughs> So okay, the next one The next one called Who pressed mute on Uncle Marcus? It's this uh, uh, You know you know, It's uh, a film where you can choose What to do next at some parts mm, So So this pretty much it It's uh, If I understood the story correctly it's a uh, uh, family victory where someone did kill uncle and you have to find out who and why so the concept is pretty much interesting and that's it and of course we have we have stranger of paradise final fantasy origin are you ready to kill chaos you don't know what you're doing here, but you're gonna kill chaos. And whatever you do, you must kill chaos. <laughs> if it to be serious, um, um, Team Ninja, uh, developers of uh, Ninja Gaiden and uh, Dead or Alive and uh, uh, Neo 1 and 2, to, they can make a really interesting gameplay. Unfortunately, I don't know anything about story except for Kill Chaos be, because I decided I'm gonna do characters one dimensional like in the, the first Final Fantasy. You don't know anything about them. They have amnesia. <laughs> they only know that they are heroes of light. <laughs> like I'm gonna save everyone and everything. But I played the first demo and gameplay game, game pretty much cool. Cool, so we'll see. It should be. be at least a cool, cool, cool game to play, if not watch for the story. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it is in the future. Okay, and the next one we go to... We go to... Netflix anime. This first one is Adam by Eve, Alive in Animation. This, uh, 
Uh, so that's uh, music from Juju Shukatsen playing. I don't know why. <laughs> Wait. So I decided to do live action mixed with uh, animation for some reason. So I don't quite understand what it is. It's uh, a concert or a TV series yes, with uh, animation elements. I don't know what it is, but um, I want to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> for some strange reason. Yeah, it it is interesting. So, so here here it is. It's out on Netflix. Okay. So this is uh, DMZ. And I hear a lot of good stuff about the uh, graphic novel called DMZ, the military zone. So it's kind of. Um, Post-apocalyptic kind of thing. In this mini TV series, uh, Rosario Dawson plays the main role. Uh, and uh, what I understand, the Dimitri Zone is uh, abandoned territory in the uh, center of the United States. When people live uh, by themselves, but no one helps them. Them. And uh, the main heroine tries to find her son that she lost uh, during evacuation. So, some uh, charismatic leader out there that uh, that's want to rule everyone around, and she's trying to survive and find her, her son. Some in, uh, there are a lot of factions that fighting each other inside this Demeter zone, so I don't know. Well, I like Rosario Dawson, she's a good actress, so maybe also if Demeter zone DMZ is good, uh, depends on if, how much they change from the original graphic novel. Even if I didn't read it, usually people F up when they change too much from graphic novel. We will see. We will see. Okay, the next one. The next one called Minx. Uh, it's about uh, it's about uh, this woman who wants to write about feminism in in journals, but no one pub uh, uh, publishes her, and uh, she has to go to work with uh, porn magazine in order to transfer her feminism, uh, feministic ideas into the mainstream so people could he he hear about her, 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 her articles. And um, along the way, the way when she uh, gets into this uh, uh, world of adult industry, she is a little bit forgetting about what she wanted to do in the first place, uh, yes, but you know how the, uh, the sto stories goes. goes uh, one, one person wants to do something, then she, he goes to, um, to do it uh, in a different way, when, uh, a little bit forgetting about what, what he, he wants to do, then he is getting back to the right track, and everything is fine in the end. Usually this movie goes like this. So I suppose it's gonna be in this. Interesting. So, we'll see. Okay. okay, the next one. Cheaper by Dozen. There was a movie with Steve Martin in 2003, like this. But this one, new on Disney Plus. Plus, it, it has JD from, from Scraps in it, so I really want to, <laughs> to watch it just because I love Zach Buff. He's a great uh, comedy actor. And, um, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, so, so it's a story about family with ten children. I suppose it's ten adopted children, but, but no matter. It's, it's ten of them. And, uh, they have this, the two parents and ten children. So, <laughs> they, have, they have to, uh, to, to live in this environment. And that's all the premise. 
once again, because it's Zach Buff and I believe in him and he, he, he's a really cool actor, it's gonna be a fun comedy. It has the potential to be a fun comedy. Yeah, at least I hope so. Well, I hope so that all, all the content that we watch is good. Okay, the next one. The next one. Wait, for him to send dance. Tap dance, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, the next one is uh, some sci fi trailer. It's about the assassins that. Uh, uh, played by Ryan Quentin. And his uh, brother from uh, True Blood. And if you watch True Blood. Uh, you know who it is. If you don't don't watch it, it's a good uh, vampire TV show. But but in the vampire diaries, definitely. So 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 he's an assassin. He's in love with the uh, singer, and uh, he also a friend with scientist uh, that played by Hugo Weaving, uh, favorite uh, Agent Smith and uh, Elrond, and um, and. Um, Something happens that this uh, assassin can't uh, work properly because his uh, his uh, organism kinda uh, st stops working for some reason. I don't know, know why. And that's the premise of the movie. It can, it can be good, it can be bad, but I can be sure, sure about this. But it's out. <laughs> The next one is uh, French comedy. It's a French comedy about stand up. So it's a story about different people that are trying to stand up. And uh, that's uh, all. Oh, so they, they're doing jokes, uh, some of them struggling, some of them are doing it better. And uh, some of them have a bad day, some of them have a good day. And that's, that's, that's a whole drama. It, it can be. It can be really interesting. I want to. I, I would watch this if I had time. But we will see. We will, we will see. Prob it's probably gonna be a good movie. Yeah, a good, good co cozy movie, movie about human relationships. Why not? Okay. And the last one. And the last one. This trailer with Jason Segel. So, you know, and Jesse Plemons. Uh, and you know Jason Segel as uh, Marshall from uh, How I Met Your Mother and uh, Jason Plemons as uh, Todd from Breaking Bad or uh, uh, also he was this cool character from Fargo. Okay. I, I don't know who could be since I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Sorry. So the story is this uh, Jason Segel guy broke into the house uh, of a rich man Summer house, summer house of the rich man, and uh, wants to rob him. And the owners of the house returns <laughs> to uh, when he tries to rob them. So now he's uh, kind of ta taking them hostage and wants to ta take money from them. them. So this one guy who wants to rob the other guys, guys, uh, uh, they have really st strange dynamic, uh, and. Uh, Mm, that's the whole trailer. You know, will he succeed? Will he kill them, or, or not? But it's interesting. Interesting to see what will happen. So, yeah, windfall. Let us, uh, let us watch uh, this co uh, probably cool, uh, cool trailer. And and that's all. That's all the new stuff, uh, interesting new stuff that came out this week. So, so I hope if this video was helpful, you know, to do at the end of the video. Video also, if you want to support me, me in any other way, please go to my other, uh, other social media channels. Channels and uh, thank you for watching and bye. Thanks for watching. Okay, it is the end of the video. You know what to do.